you guys what is up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Ruby this is my lifestyle channel and this is also day 10 of vlogmas originally I was going to vlog today but then I realized you know I promised you guys quite a few sit down videos for vlogmas as well and I hadn't really gotten to them yet I think just because I was so excited to like be vlogging and I had things that I wanted to share with you guys but today was a bit more chill so I was like you know what we can definitely do a sit down video today and I'm really really excited for this one but before we actually get into it, let me see if I can move my camera and just get rid of a little bit of the glare that is going on in my glasses. Okay, I think that might have helped. Also, really, really, before we get into today's video, I'm sure I'm gonna get questions. Um, my hair, I styled with my Dyson Airwrap today. I did it a little bit differently. I've been kind of enjoying the really loose, like, big, bouncy uh, waves, like a bouncier blowout. Maybe that's just because my hair is getting very, very long again, but uh, I did this with my Dyson, for those who are gonna ask. I will link it down below. It's one of, like, my favorite things that I've purchased this year. Also, my lip color. I'm trying out the Maybelline Lifter Gloss that I featured in my Black Friday haul, and you guys, I love it. So I'll link that down below, along with my cardigan that I'm wearing today. I'm literally wearing, like, a wearable blanket. This is from Barefoot Dreams. It is an investment, but my goodness, it is worth it. Okay, so for today's video, I am going to be going through my entire perfume collection of 2021 and also sharing with you guys my top winter fragrances. Like really my top of the top. Like I narrowed it down to my four top winter fragrances, which was not easy to do. But I'm also going to be sharing with you guys all of the perfumes that are in my collection. We definitely have quite a bit to get through, especially since Black Friday where I definitely did some fragrance shopping damage. I am a big perfume lover. I like a lot of variety and I know what I like and when I like it I kind of go crazy for it but that definitely does not mean that I am the best at describing scents so I'm actually going to be going through the fragrance notes for each of these just because I thought that would be super helpful rather than just saying like it smells good obviously it smells good or else I wouldn't have purchased it so I think that's enough chatting for now I'm gonna have links for all the perfumes down below and let's just get into it let me know in the comments down below what your number one fragrance is what are you wearing this winter like what do you just wear in general I really do want to have some like perfume chats in the comments down below but okay let's get into my perfume collection as well as my top winter fragrances so here's what we're gonna do because we have a lot to get through I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about this is we're gonna start with travel size then we're gonna go to full size bottles and then we are going to end it with my top winter fragrances so I'm gonna not show those I'm gonna save them for last this is in no particular order. I'm literally just grabbing whatever I see first. So up first, we have a travel size of Gucci Guilty Pour Femme. This is pretty new in my collection, but as you guys can see, I've definitely used it a couple of times. It's actually what I'm wearing today. So this is described as a warm floral, which isn't really how I would describe it. I would definitely say it's more of like a powdery floral, but the key scent notes in this are Mandora, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Pink Pepper. This is super feminine. It lasts all day. I feel like you can wear it in the daytime, but also it layers beautifully with like a more intense perfume for the evening. This purchase was definitely inspired by multiple TikToks that I saw. Up next, we have a small size of Armani's My Way. So again, this is another floral scent, but this one is entirely different. The main notes on this is orange blossom, tuberose, and vanilla. I love a vanilla scent. I love anything with rose, tuberose in it. I just think it's really like intoxicating. And I feel like this is one of those scents that smells good on everybody. It starts off pretty pretty strong but then it dries down and it's definitely like a lot more wearable but at first like those first five to ten minutes that you're wearing it it is pretty intense but I do love it and I think during the spring and summertime especially I'm going to be obsessed with this I also have a small size of my way intense because since I really enjoyed the original fragrance I thought it would be nice to have this just for some variety but especially in the evening it looks exactly the same as the original my way like travel size the only difference is on the box it will say intense. So all the scent notes for this are the same, but I believe this also has a little bit of sandalwood. So it gives it just that little bit more of like, not a masculine, but just like a deeper scent. Honestly, ugh, I feel like you can't go wrong with either one of these, whether it's the intense version or the original. It just smells so good. I feel like everybody should have a really nice, like clean and fresh scent in their perfume collection. However, for me, when I say clean and fresh, I do not want to smell like linen or laundry. That's not me personally. I cannot stand those kinds of scents. So I still want my 
you know, light and fresh and clean scent to lean, you know, maybe a bit more floral or a bit more fruity. Like it can't just smell like laundry detergent. <laughs> and so for me, this is kind of the perfect balance. And this is definitely like my go-to, um, like fresh and clean scent at the moment. This is Versace's Bright Crystal. This is categorized as a fresh floral. And the keynotes are Yuzu Lemon, Peony, and Musk. So you still get that really fresh quality with the lemon, but then again, it's just a little bit more deeper and intense. I love anything with like a really musky kind of like after scent, which is exactly what you get with this. Ah, oh, this smells so good. And again, I feel like this is kind of one of those scents that smells good on anybody. It's great for younger people. It's also great for those who like a more mature scent as well. I also think that everybody should have a very skin-like scent in their collection. Now, what that means is it's something very subtle, kind of warm, cozy. It mimics the natural like muskiness that skin smells like. So it's very subtle. It's one of those scents that people have to be very close to you to smell. It's not gonna be anything crazy, but it also will layer beautifully with more intense perfumes. And for me, this is the best and my favorite like skin scent that I found. And this is from the brand Clean Reserve and this is their skin scent, how fitting. So do not let the scent description and the notes of this deter you from trying this out because reading the scent notes online, this sounds like a very intense fragrance, but I promise you it's not. So this is categorized as a warm and spicy fragrance with sweet gourmands. The keynotes on this are fresh musk and salted praline, which while that sounds amazing, again, it does sound pretty intense, but I promise you it is not. Go try this out by the travel size. You will not be disappointed. Oh, this is one of those that I, I just love. It is so subtle, but it's still like just kind of sexy. When I travel in the new year, this is one of those that I definitely know that I will be bringing with me and when I have room in my collection to add another full-size bottle of something I could definitely see myself getting a full size of this. Up next we have Marc Jacobs Perfect which is one of his newer scents I believe. I just wore this for the first time yesterday. I'm obsessed. This to me reminds me of a grown-up version of Pink Sugar. Do you guys remember that perfume? It reminds me of that but it's certainly not the same scent. Like it's not as sickly sweet. It's definitely more mature. This smells so good though. I'm a big fan of Marc Jacobs perfumes. I love the original Daisy. I actually recently just ran out of my bottle. But this is categorized again as a warm floral and the keynotes on this are daffodil, almond milk, and cashmere. You can definitely smell like the almond like essence of this perfume. So again it's sweet but it's not sickly sweet. I feel like if you're the kind of person who likes florals but you don't love florals, you'll really like this because it's not flower heavy. Anyways, very impressed with this. It didn't last the longest but honestly I didn't care because the smell was so good. You guys know this next scent is one of my all-time favorites for the summertime. Um, I even wear it year-round though, but like especially for the summertime, I go crazy for this. This is Beach Walk from Replica. I absolutely love this brand and everything they do. Every single scent that they come out with, I love. Now what's really cool is they do unisex fragrances. So literally anybody can wear them. They smell good on literally anyone. And as much as I love all of their fragrances, this one is truly so special and it holds such a special place in my heart. So this is categorized as a fresh floral which I have to say I kind of disagree with because I don't get like any floral from this maybe that's just how it wears on me but the main notes of this perfume are bergamot heliotrope and coconut milk this basically smells like a mature perfumed sunscreen if that makes sense which is why it's perfect for the summertime but it doesn't smell like chemically like a sunscreen does so let me be very careful with how I kind of phrase this it literally just smells like you're at the beach on a vacation which is probably why it's called beach walk but I'm I'm obsessed with this again just like if you need to blindly buy this without smelling it just do it because I promise you will love it and then again I know we're not talking about favorite scents for the spring and summertime but this one is definitely like right up there with beach walk usually during the summer I'm wearing one or the other. This is Gucci Bloom and this is like feminine in a bottle. I don't even know any other way to describe that. I can't say enough good things about this perfume. First of all, maybe it's just like Gucci fragrances in general. I don't know. I really haven't tried enough to like make that executive statement, but this 
last on the skin for so long. And it's one of those scents that the more you wear it, like throughout the day, it just gets better and better and better. Now this is described as a classic floral and typically with classic florals, I associate that with a very mature, very powdery, kind of old lady smelling floral. But that is not the case with this. It is young, it's useful, but again, I feel like anybody can wear it. And the main notes of this perfume are jasmine bud and tuberose. I didn't even have to look that up. That's how obsessed I am with this perfume. Oh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I feel like also like for a wedding day for like a bridal perfume, this would be gorgeous. Now these next two fragrances are not like travel size sprays. They're just smaller bottles. So I wanted to show those two next before we get into like the full size bottles. This is one of my most expensive perfumes, especially depending on the size that you get but it is everything, it is worth every single penny. It is from Lalabo, and this is Lease 41. So this is described as an overwhelming white floral, a blend of jasmine, tuberose, absolute, and lily, which is literally exactly what it smells like. And again, I said I'm not a genius when it comes to like deciphering scents, but the first time I smelled this, I literally said to the guy who was helping me at Lalabo, I was like, oh, it's just like jasmine, rose, and a little bit of like something else, which is when he told me that there was lily in this. I don't know any other way to describe this other than you took fresh flowers and you like rub them on yourself. <laughs> and what's so interesting is even though this has very similar scent notes to Gucci Bloom, they smell completely different. Again though, for like a wedding day, I feel like this would be gorgeous. Like for a spring wedding, a daytime wedding, oh my gosh. Ugh, worth every penny. And even though this bottle is small, it was not cheap, which is why I always do the smallest size. You guys know my love for Jo Malone. Um, and so up next in my perfume collection, I have Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia. I love Jo Malone because their scents are so simple. They are exactly what they say they are on the bottle. And because they're simple, like they don't have a ton of different notes to them, they're amazing to wear on their own, but they're also incredible layering perfumes, which is why I just really recommend Jo Malone. So the main notes for this are obviously English pear and freesia, but then it also has undertones of amber, patchouli, and woods, which is probably why I really like it. I love anything with patchouli, musk, sandalwood. Oh, Oh, this is so good. To me, this just reminds me of like a brunch day with the girls for some reason. Yeah, this is this is everything. I don't need to say anything more about this. It's one of their most popular fragrances for a reason. I love it. Moving on to my full-size bottles. Now you guys will see that I don't have a lot of full-size bottles of perfume. It takes a lot for me to commit to a big bottle because I like variety. I feel like it's kind of pointless to have large bottles of everything just because I'm never really wearing the same fragrance like two days in a row. I like to switch it up. So I go through perfume a little bit slower than the average person, I guess. But there are a couple of scents that I do have full bottles for. I guess we'll start with the other Jo Malone perfume that I have in my collection. Now this is their Rose Blood cologne. This was a limited edition and they no longer sell it anymore. If I can find it anywhere, I will link it down below. And I am savoring what is left in here. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I love perfumes with rose. And what I love even more about this perfume is yes, it has rose. It's a very simple fragrance, but it also just has a touch of musk on top of that really beautiful floral. So like I said, if you can find this, I really recommend it. I feel a little bit like sad having to share this with you guys, knowing that it's really hard to find, but it is a part of my collection, so I wanted to mention it. We already went over this one, but I have a full bottle of Gucci Guilty. I purchased this along with the small size. It came in a gift set together. I've gotta say, I do love the bottle for this. I feel like it is just like, I'm a boss lady in a bottle. And then similarly to purchasing a gift set of Gucci Guilty, I also purchased a gift set of My Way, which is how I got the full bottle and the small size as well. I really love this bottle. There's something about it that is just like so simple, but also really interesting to me. Maybe it's the top. I just feel like this is such a gorgeous bottle to have out on your vanity. I love the pink tint to the perfume. Speaking of a beautiful bottle, up next we have this gorgeous perfume from La Perla. Now again, this is pretty new in my collection, but I have quickly really fallen in love with this. So this is their signature perfume and the scent notes on this are violet leaves, jasmine, and vetiver. So it has a very woodsy base with like floral top notes, which again, 
For those who like florals but don't love florals, I think you'd really like this. It reminds me a little bit, just a little bit of, do you guys remember Lady Gaga's perfume, like the fame, and it was like a black perfume? I used to have that and I was actually obsessed with it. Like I thought it was really, really good. And this kind of reminds me of that. Like it has certain like scent notes that just remind me a little bit of it. Oh, that's so funny. You guys, I just looked up the Lady Gaga perfume and it was like a woodsy floral. So I think I'm kind of on the right track. Maybe, you know what? Maybe my like perfume knowledge is getting better. Anyway though, love this. I'd really recommend checking it out. I got mine at Nordstrom. So if you have a Nordstrom close to you, I would really recommend going in and smelling it because if you're looking for something new in your collection, I feel like this is a really great new scent to try. Okay, you guys, we've made it. The final four perfumes in my collection, which are also my top winter fragrances. So let's just dive in because I know this has been a very, very chatty video. And I feel like I didn't do this on purpose, but we kind of have something for everybody in every price point. We have some really expensive perfumes and we also have some like super affordable perfumes. I talked about this recently in a vlog. I've mentioned it on Instagram, on TikTok. This is one of my favorite scents of all time that I specifically wear a lot in the winter months. And that is again from Lalabo. It's another Lalabo fragrance. And this is the Noir 29. This is such a special scent. I don't know any other way to describe it. And again, this is a unisex fragrance, so I feel like it just smells good on everybody and you can't go wrong. So the fragrance notes on this are bergamot, fig, cedarwood, vetiver, and musk. I um, mean, it says the result is a leafy fragrance with a, with a tobacco feeling in the dry down, which to me, I get a little bit of that, but I've never been a really big fan of like tobacco fragrances on myself. I just feel like it gets like more intense and just like deeper the more you wear it. But it does definitely lean a little bit more masculine, so I understand why they're saying that. This just smells so good. This is such a good woodsy, cozy, sophisticated scent, but it's not fussy. It doesn't smell old. It has this really great, like just classic fragrance to it. It's so special, you guys. It's everything. We have a really special event that we're going to at the Met this week, um, and it's in the evening, and it's like pretty dressy, and this is definitely what I'm going to wear. This just makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel sexy. I feel special when I wear this because it's one of those scents that really is so special. Can't say enough good things about this. It's worth every penny. Lalabo, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I just love you guys. Now, as you guys may or may not have noticed, I do not have any celebrity fragrances in my collection, except for this one. It is very rare that I blindly buy a fragrance before smelling it. Like, there are times where I'll go into a store and quickly smell and be like, yeah, I think I like that, and then purchase it. But it is very rare that I order something that I do not smell at all before purchasing. And the only reason I did that with this perfume was one, because it was only available online, but also I trust this celebrity. And I thought, you know, whatever she comes out with is going to smell bomb and I need to get my hands on it. And I love it. As you can tell, I have used a lot of it. This is the Fenty perfume. This is the first perfume from Fenty. And I really think Rihanna just like hit it out of the park with this one. I cannot wait to see what she comes out with next. This scent, again, super interesting and different. The notes are Magnolia, Musk, Tangerine, Blueberry, which I feel like you never hear that or like smell that in fragrances. Bulgarian Rose Absolute, Geranium, and Patchouli. It's sweet, it's floral, it's masculine, it's musky. There are so many different elements to this fragrance. And so as you wear it throughout the day, it really does change throughout the day. For me, when I first wear this, I feel like I get kind of almost like a sweeter, like gourmand scent on me. And then as it dries down, I start to get more of the blueberry, I get the patchouli. It's bold, but it's not unwearable. Um, also, I love the bottle. I feel like this is just gorgeous. I love the color, super appropriate for the fall and winter. It's not to say that you couldn't wear this during like the spring and summer, because it obviously does have like floral and fruity notes in it, but for me, I feel like this is just like fall, winter, cozy vibes. Can't recommend this enough. I'm not sure if it's back in stock yet, but if it is, get your hands on it. If not, get on the wait list. These last two I wanted to save for last because they smell incredibly similar. They do smell a little different, but they do smell incredibly similar. And one is very, very low in price point, and one is a little bit more up there. So for those who are looking for a fantastic winter fragrance on a budget, I got you. For those who want to invest a little bit more, I got you. I guess I'll just show them at the same time and then we can do a little breakdown of each. Um, but they are Zara Femme and Dior's Hypnotic Point. 
poison. Nine times out of ten, if you want to know what Ruby smells like in the winter, it is this. I know I've repeatedly said in this video I'm not one to wear the same perfume, you know, multiple days in a row. However, I will break that rule for this and the Noir from Lalabo. Again, I just feel like there's something so special about this perfume. And then recently I kind of started like getting into Zara perfumes because I just think they're fantastic fragrances and they're really budget friendly. And I came across this one and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I found like an almost dupe for those who want Hypnotic Poison but don't want to pay the price. At the end of the day for me, I'm always going to go with Hypnotic Poison, but I've been wearing this a lot during the winter, don't get me wrong, and I've still been really enjoying it. So let's break down the scent notes for each of these. I will start with Zara Femme. So the fragrance notes of this include peony, vanilla, and musk. So again, super simple fragrance in terms of like the makeup of the notes, but it does not smell simple once you have it on. It's very vanilla heavy, but again, it has that musky essence to it um, that really makes it interesting. And it makes it more intense and cozier for the winter. If you guys can tell already, I love a musky fragrance. I also love vanilla, so these two together are just perfect. And then you do just get a slight freshness to it with the peony as well. So now let's dive into Dior's Hypnotic Poison. So this is categorized as a warm and spicy fragrance with warm and sweet gourmands. The key notes of this are bitter almond, jasmine, and vanilla. So again, this is sweet, this is vanilla heavy, but it has almond in it, which definitely makes it just a little bit, like, not spicier, that's the wrong word, but not sickly sweet by any means. I guess it just makes it a little bit more mature, I guess that's the best way to say it. But again, similar to Zara Femme, you get a really vanilla heavy fragrance with a, you know, note of floral as well. Just in the Hypnotic Poison, you get Jasmine. I'm telling you guys, I did not look up the scent notes when purchasing this, but I could just tell that it was really close to Hypnotic Poison. Oh, it smells incredible. And it's one of those that it not only lasts all day, you can still smell it on yourself the next day. Like, I will spray this on in the morning, and then I'll go throughout my day, I'll be busy in New York City, I'll go to bed, I'll wake up, and the first thing I'll do is I'll be like, I smell good, because I literally still smell this on me. Daytime, nighttime, it is everything. I save this every year for the colder winter months because, you know, I like it to be special. I like to, you know, wait so I can break this out at a certain time of year. I have repurchased so many bottles of this, I literally don't even know how many at this point. All I know is, it is so good. You know what? I think we should put some on right now because literally I don't care. I already have Gucci Guilty on, but as I'm smelling this, I'm like, I need more. Ah, oh, yes, it smells so good. But there you guys have it. Oh my God, I think I talked for over an hour. I'm gonna have so much to edit tonight. But that is my 2021 perfume collection along with my top winter fragrances. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I feel like this was a fun one. It was a fun day for Vlogmas. If you enjoyed this video, if you're a perfume lover or you just found this entertaining, you found it interesting, you learned something, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button down below. We are less than 100 away from 6,000 subscribers, you guys. I would love to hit it by the end of Vlogmas. I really think we can. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks. The links are always in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Okay? Bye, everybody.